Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Mm, craziest rumor I heard about myself. I don't know. What's the craziest rumor you heard about me? That, me particular, I haven't heard any. <laughs> but just wondering if you had. Nah, I haven't heard no rumors. Um, so many rumors you can't think of one or not enough rumors? You can't probably, think of one. There's no rumors. I feel like I get a lot more love than hate. Is there a question you hate to answer? Can't stand. Maybe it's a repetitive question. Same thing you receive all the time. Yeah, I, I, I personally don't like the question, like, where do you see yourself in, like, six years or three? Like, I, I personally don't like that question. Because it's like, nigga, where do you see yourself in six years? The fuck? <laughs> like, where do you see yourself? Like, duh, I see myself bigger than in somewhere else. Not the fuck. Like, hello? Like, I guess some people is not about elevation or leveling up. So I guess I can't. I don't know why people ask that question, though. Because it's such a rhetorical question. What about questions about Trippy Red? Are you tired of those questions? Um, it's, it's like, yeah, I'm tired of the questions, but like, it's not that it, it don't, it don't like affect me when people ask about them. Because like, that was part of my life, people. Like, you know, it is what it is. I expect it. And then what about, uh, your record, your recording contract and your record deal, are you tired of those types of questions? Yeah, I don't, nobody really asked me about my record deal or anything. But a lot of people probably like don't even know I'm signed. If they do know I'm signed, then they don't, probably don't know the who or when I got signed. Word. But shout out to Republic Records, I'm signing Republic Records, how does this motherfucking label in the motherfucking world, Universal, Shinsha. Well, when I was looking up and researching some of your previous interviews, I saw Trippy Red in a lot of titles. I don't know if it's clickbait or they just continue to ask you of those questions. Of course it's motherfucking clickbait. Like, duh. Like, these people, like, anybody, whether if it's, like, and shout out to all the platforms I did an interview with, they're lit. But views, like, they're going to put that nigga as the title. Do I want them to? No. I would appreciate it if they would just let it be all about me. But at the same time... It's like, it don't make or break me. It don't affect me, I feel like. And, and I've also uh, seen people use the titles of your record deal. So that's why I was asking about both in particular. Right, right. Those were like the two main things I kept seeing. Right. So. Yeah, how I signed the biggest, cause recently, cause ain't nobody know. So like recently, so I signed the biggest record deal in 2019, like nobody know that. So that's why I just, that's probably why they put that shit out there to just add a little more sauce to the, I don't know. You know how I got motherfuckers work. And when you say biggest, you're talking money? Yeah. Have and you ever? Not even money, just overall. The, everything. The type of deal it was? Yes. Have you ever revealed how much the actual deal was? Yes. Okay, you have. 100%. I, I didn't catch that. Yeah, in order for me to sign it, I had to see what I was going to sign. No, but I mean, have, has it been spoken about? Have you ever released the figure in public? Oh, nah, nah, nah. I ain't never released the figure, but it's definitely in the M's. And is that your opinion? It was the biggest? Or did they literally say, hey, you've got the biggest deal um, of 2019? That's a, a, a factual opinion.